What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's break down some college basketball picks for Saturday, February 4th slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into tonight's picks. Start us off. Yes, I went 0-1 uh, in our last video. FAU failed me, and UAB ended FAU's 20-game winning streak. Uh I'll come back better today. I really thought FAU was going to come out and dominate. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Trey, I had the Wichita State Shockers two nights ago, plus 13, and they did not disappoint. Uh, they actually, in my opinion, should have won that game. They were up early. Houston battled back. Wichita State took another lead into the second half. They were up by eight in the second half with four minutes left. Houston took the lead in that game, and that was a big moment because once you have a team down, a team that's much better than you, and then they get the lead, it's very, very difficult to get that back. And we saw that a couple of nights ago as Houston poured it on in the last four minutes of the game, beating the Shockers by nine. The Shockers still have not lost by 10 or more points on the season. It's just too bad they weren't able to pull this game off because if they win this game, they would have had a legitimate shot to make the big dance come March. Now they will probably have to either win out or win the AAC tournament to make it. So that's disappointing for Shockers fans, but they really had that game. They, they were tied with four minutes left, and then they just crumbled down the stretch. But they covered the spread. Just unfortunate they couldn't win the game. But let's get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. Yeah, whenever I was looking at that game, I uh, had a big smile on my face because I remembered you saying Wichita State's never lost by 10. They lost by 9 and covered. That was a win-win for you. Yep. All right, guys, if you're looking at the screen, you know by now which game I'm picking. And you might be laughing at home because I did when I was doing my research. I'm going with Green Bay versus IUPUI. This game actually made me laugh whenever I was doing the research so much. I was literally laying in bed chuckling like a little girl. But hey, it's a game and we can bet on it. And I think I found some pretty good edges for us in this game. And something that I just want to say before I dig, dig into this game that makes me laugh. And if you guys don't know these two teams, that's probably because you're a sane person and enjoy watching quality basketball. These two teams have a combined record of 5-42. and 42. Green Bay with a record of 2-21. and 21. IUP, And then there's IUPUI with a record of 3-21. and 21. So both teams are bad but I do think there is a difference between a bad team and a dog shit team. And we just got to, you know, wade through the water to figure out which team is which. And the first, you know, test that I have to, to determine which team is the dog shit team is the ATS record. Green Bay is 6-17 and 17 ATS and are 0-13 straight up on the road this season. IUPUI is 13-9 and 9 ATS with a 6-2 and 2 ATS record at home. So IUPUI wins the ATS battle by a wide margin. Then, then the next test I used is the point differential. Green Bay has a minus 18.5 point differential, almost losing by 20 points per game. IUPUI only has an 11.7 point differential, losing by almost 12 points per game. So IUPUI wins that battle too fairly easily. And then I'll just end with this nugget. IUPUI has been playing some pretty good basketball lately, at least being competitive, not winning the games, but... Honestly, making the other team sweat, losing by an average of 6.6 .6 points. But they covered all those games as well, 5-0 and ATS in those five games. And then there's Green Bay, who literally might be the worst team in college basketball, losing their last five games, getting blown out in every single one of them, losing by an average of 24 points per game. I started laughing whenever I was picking this game, whenever I was originally doing my research, but whenever I got halfway through... I realize that this line is just too close. IUPUI might win this game by double digits, and they might go to Pizza Hut after the game to celebrate. Um, IUPUI should win this game easily. And in this matchup between these two teams, the favorite is 4-0 and ATS in the last four games. IUPUI has been playing competitive. Give me them minus 4.5 at home. Yeah, Trey, and Green Bay just simply can't score. And I've said it a lot this season. Good teams win, great teams cover. Um, so IUPUI is playing a lot better basketball, so I like that pick. Um, tonight, though, I'm going with the Big 12 basketball, TCU at Oklahoma State, and I'm taking the Cowboys' money line at home. I like the Cowboys for a couple reasons. One of those reasons is because the Horned Frogs will be without Mike Miles in this game. He is the leading scorer for TCU, and without him this year, they are 1-1. Oklahoma State also has one of the best defenses in the nation, ranking 30th in the country. Finally, at home this season, Oklahoma State is 9-2, and two, and TCU is 2-3 and three on the road. The only two losses on the year this season for the Cowboys at home have been to Texas, 56-46, and the second game of the year against the Salukis by one point. 
This will be the first meeting between these two teams. And with Mike Miles out, TC won't be able to find much offense against a top rated defense in the nation, allowing just 63 points per game. We don't have a big enough sample size to take stats from Mike Miles' absence and apply them to the TCU overall performance on offense. However, we do have the eyeball test, which is watching both games without Miles. TCU will need to be able to set up their offense and run set plays against Oklahoma State to score. I don't see them being successful doing that as Oklahoma State has a great team defense. This will come down to isolation for the TCU offense, and they don't have that player to take control. They had Mike Miles. They don't have him anymore. The Cowboys will win this game with their defense at home and get a big win against the top 15 team for the resume on Saturday night. Something extra to think about here, TCU this season is 13-0 when scoring 75-plus points and 1-3 when scoring under 67 points. Oklahoma State allows just 63 points per game, and TCU will be without their leading scorer. So don't take this bait with the higher-ranked seed. This should be a great game, but the home team holds the advantage. So I'm taking Oklahoma State money line in this game for my pick. Let's go 2-0 tonight. Two picks for tonight, and that'll do it for our college basketball picks and predictions for February 4th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.